Hey, this is Wyatt with the Creative Habits Podcast, and this is how to create a PDF using Canva in a couple minutes. Check it out. All right, so here I am in Canva, and uh, you sign in, and you know, you can just type in meh, and you'll get, you know, this magazine cover here. Um, now it'll pop up a separate window and what you want to do is uh, you, you can go through and choose, you know, mag- uh, food magazine, teen magazine. I ignore all that and just go uh, down to all results. And then uh, first off, if you look here, it's often easier to start your PDF cover with just, you know, something that's just an image. Let the image really hold a lot of the interest and a little bit of text to get your idea hooked, uh, you know, a bit further. But if you just use uh, text, you can. As you get used to it, you can use text, but often it's easier just to start out with just an image. So you're looking down here and there's a lot of different cool covers. Now you'll notice um, just a quick uh, hack, so to speak. You'll notice that some say free and some don't. You don't necessarily have to worry about that as long as you replace the image. And you're going to want to replace the image anyway. So I'm going to show you where to get, you know, I'm just going to go to Pixabay and you can go there too, but there's listings of different free places to get images that you can use with no attribution. And what's nice is it's not just the image itself that you see on the cover, but you also have, you see here, uh, the inner parts of the magazine as well. So you can use their table of contents, and you can use their inside, uh, the inside of the magazine, so to speak. So you get access to, um, you know, those layouts as well. And then if you want to add new pages, you can and just take that one and boom, you've got a new page. Um, one, you know, drawback, of course, is that you do, for some consistency's sake, you might have to update some of the colors or fonts. But in general, it's a really quick way to go through, uh, just grab a template um, cover and some of the inner parts of it uh, tweak slightly and you have a really professionally looking uh, PDF. So it's really fast to use. And then you can go in here, uh, you know, change up your text, uh, change up your images, um, you know, move things around uh, to the opposite side. You could go ahead and let's say copy this page and then you you've got that same page you got that same look uh, but change the whole layout so that your text um, your headline is on one side now and your text and images are on the other um, yet you still have that same um, you know overall look and feel of the of the overall magazine or PDF cover you know that you're going for so see I've got that and you've got that, you still have the consistency going for you. So really fast and easy way to create a PDF um, and really cool. It's it's something that they keep upgrading a lot. Um, the templates that you have access to are always upgraded. Uh, food is cool because it it uh, if you've got something you want to use a lot of images with, um, they've got a lot to choose from. Um, and it's easy enough to find images, of course, on Pixabay and elsewhere uh, to use as examples in your PDF. So you can basically knock out a cool uh, professional looking PDF in a matter of a couple hours or less, depending on if you can, <laughs> if you have things lined up right away. And uh, it's simple enough to, you know, one, once you're done, it's simple enough to go ahead and upload, uh, you know, PDF print. Uh, I just do PDF standard. You can uh, upload all the pages or just the pages you have com- completed. Um, so you could do rough drafts and then have them, you know, sent to people and then go back and finish it. You can also um, utilize this as a template. Uh, but that's a whole other, um, that's a whole other video. But still, you could have a, a PDF, keep that, and make a copy. And then next time you make a PDF, you've got all your branded elements. You've got your uh, cover page, your table of contents, your footers, and all that kind of stuff done. And then it's a matter of just plugging it in with whatever uh, next PDF that you're creating. So it's a great way to establish some templates right off the bat um, and then, you know, keep creating more and more PDFs as needed. Some people will use a PDF for each blog post that they do. They actually have a download specific to that blog post to get people to uh, either sign up or just as a benefit to the reader. So 
Uh, PDFs are a lot easier to create than you might think. You don't have to actually use Word and you get, they're much more visually appealing than some of the older styles that people would use. You know, people would be a lot uh, happier with their output uh, that you get from Canva here. And what's great is it's free. The professional version gives you all kinds of other elements that you can use, but the free version is uh, just as good. So that's about it for creating a PDF with Canva. It's really easy. Go in there, um, you know, play around, change things about, um, keep your templates, make a copy, and uh, on, on you go. So great and, and cool feature and um, one to use quite often with your landing pages or anything else you're doing, YouTube videos. Um, you can have people link over to download something. Um, so thanks a lot for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe.